Welcome to our IV catheter instructional video um, in our very real patient here. So the first thing you want to do when you are preparing to place an IV catheter is to have all of your supplies ready. The last thing you want is to have your patient on the table and have to go run and get something else. So we have clippers, we have scrub and alcohol so that we can cleanse the area after we have uh, clipped it. We have appropriate sized IV catheters and we always grab more than one. It's kind of your security security blanket. If you, for, if you mess up, you have one ready and hoping you don't need it. But we have a couple of IV catheters. We have an injection plug to place after our catheter is taped in securely. And we have tape and we have our final vet wrap. We will be placing this catheter um, not for a long-term placement, but to as if we were going to use it for surgery in an hour or so. So we're going to cover that whole thing with our vet wrap after we're finished. I also like to have some dry gauze handy in case there's blood that I can clean it. Also, I have wet the leg with scrub and alcohol, so I want to be able to dry it off a little bit so that my tape will stick. So we're prepared to put our IV catheter in our patient now, and the first thing we're going to do is generously clip the area. So with a surgery catheter placement, you don't necessarily have to clip all the way around the leg. Um, if you consider your patient, if your patient has long feathers on the backs of their legs, we may want to clip those shorter so we're not pulling the hair. Um, so after we've clipped the area, we're going to locate our cephalic vein and make sure that we know where it is so we're not touching it a ton after we have already cleansed the, le the leg. Sarah has expertly located the cephalic vein. So she is going to tear some tape that is appropriate for the size of her patient. Consider the, the diameter of the leg because if you have a tiny chihuahua, you don't necessarily need a ton of tape. If you have a Pyrenees, you're going to need longer pieces. So consider the size of your patient. Tear a notch about an inch from the end of your first piece of tape. So you're ready to place that underneath your catheter. All right, there you go. She has torn notches in both of her pieces of tape and she's ready to go. So the next thing we're going to do is to disinfect the area. She has two containers. One contains chlorhexidine scrub and the other contains alcohol and she will thoroughly cleanse the area. When we consider a surgical scrub, usually we're doing this three times. One scrub, one alcohol, times three. Excellent. Um, our next step is to go ahead and place our catheter. We do have some dry gauze ready. If the leg feels super wet, she can wipe, wipe that off or she can save that until we're completed getting the catheter in place. She's prepping her injection port so it's ready to place. She doesn't have to worry about trying to get it open. She's going to make sure that the catheter slides easily on the stylet so she's ready to go. going to slide the catheter in place and once she feels like she's in the vein she's going to advance the catheter and we have a flash and her restrainer will move her thumb to the end of the tip of the catheter to try to keep blood from coming out of the catheter. She's going to place her injection port and then the restrainer can let off because no more blood should be coming out. And gently dry off the leg so that her tape will adhere appropriately. Notice how she's catching the catheter and then pressing the tape onto the actual hub of the catheter to keep it in place. And that notch is used to slide up under the catheter so she has a good clean surface 
So where the injection port connects to her catheter, you're not going butting up against skin. She now takes a syringe of flush. Make sure her catheter is flowing well. Excellent. Now that catheter is secure, she will cover it with her final piece of that wrap to try to prevent this patient from chewing out this catheter. Yes. And the end.